Today, we're going to be taking on the brand new boss balloon in Balloons Tower Defense 6, the Balloon Areas, but we're going to be using the random projectile mod. So every single projectile our tower shoot is going to be completely random. Let's see if we can win. Well, this thing looks terrifying already. Let's start. Let's go. Remember, every single projectile is going to be completely random. And to show you guys what I mean, let's put the boomerang tower down for our first tower. As you can see, I believe, yep, the boss balloon is coming in 39 rounds, the first tier. There are five tiers. And yeah, as you can see, our boomerang boomerang thrower is not in fact a boomerang thrower anymore it is a lightning thrower let's go for some more upgrades and as you can see every single upgrade changes the projectile actually this is kind of bad because we do not want a grape shooter let's go for a couple more upgrades as you can see i think this is going to be pretty difficult to get all of the pops we need because the, the fifth tier is absolutely insane i think it has over a million health so we need to find some towers that make us money because of course the banana farm it's not going to be shooting out bananas anymore we're not going to be able to make money with that and as you can see we are already leaking lives let's hope oh, okay that is good but that's also bad like we are making money off this but we need to get another tower really quickly because this is not doing any damage at least it's making us money though well we've got 11 rounds to go until the boss balloon appears so let's go for the spiker pole oh wait is that a plane in the distance why is there a plane wait no way okay the spiker pole is a fireball shooter oh my god that is absolutely amazing dude the fireball is absolutely broken i think that's from the ring of fire the tag shooter this should be able to absolutely shred through every look at that it insta kills the lead balloons on around 30 that is insane okay we need to go through a couple more towers because as you can see the boss balloon is only in 10 rounds now so let's go for super monkey let's see how is that lightning? Oh my god. And it shoots so fast as well. Okay, let's get the MIB up as soon as we can. So everything in range. Let's actually put the, another super monkey in the range of this. Because I feel like we're going to need it. I really feel like we're going to need it. But that is amazing. We got a really, really super duper fast lightning shoot. And we are making a good amount of money with this. But we do need to find another money making tower, of course. Anyway, let's go for a dunkling gun as well. Because this shoots really fast. And you can aim it wherever you want to. And it looks like, okay, a laser shooter right now. We have, oh god. We have got those really really fast purple balloons right there we are okay because we do have this fireball which by the way this fireball is doing insane amounts of damage this is absolutely amazing okay so let's go for the fastest swivel oh my god how much money this is making so much money look at this it's already made at five thousand okay we're getting rid of this boomerang <laughs> we're getting rid of the boomerang let's get the mib let's get the jungle drums as well uh, this does not have any projectiles of course because it is the village although if we did get the fifth to upgrade the primary expertise maybe it would but this is absolutely amazing okay we are making all the money we need right now in fact i can get multiple of these and these will act as our farms that is absolutely amazing okay let's get four of these these are just going to be our farms in the corner as soon as i said i wanted a money making tower i got a money making tower well we have two rounds to go until the boss balloon appears and as you can see we have nearly two hundred thousand dollars right now over two hundred thousand dollars that is absolutely insane and because of this mib this lightning and super monkey can hit absolutely every single type of balloon we need to get a couple more towers down because i know that the boss balloon is going to be very 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 strong so let's get some more towers i don't know what let, let's go for the glue gunner i I mean, the glue gun is probably going to be terrible, but wait, wait, no, is that shooting up the mad missile? No, it can't be, it, it can't be. Wait, let's see how much damage. Let's put one right at the front. Let's see how much damage this does to the balloon areas. Oh my god, if this is the mad, that is crazy because this, <laughs> this is a zero, zero, zero glue gunner right here. Okay, well, it looks like there it is. There is the balloon areas. Okay, it has 20,000 health. That is a lot of health right there. And oh no, why are we? Oh no, because the glue gunner, it's not attacking it. Why is it not? Okay, there, finally. So it looks like the glue gunner can't actually target the mob, but it's targeting these balloons. And when it does hit the mob, it is doing absolutely insane amounts of damage. And as you can see, the balloon areas is dying super quickly. Let's get another one of these. Let's put this to strong. Can it under the MIB target this? I don't know if it can. Oh, no. There are some balloons leaking by right there. We need to probably go for a sniper. Oh, no. That is a ton of balloons. Okay. We need to go for the semi auto I, I don't even know what that's doing. But we need to... Okay. There we go. We popped the tier one. I kind of got a bit worried there because as you can see, that is a lot of balloons right there. 
Well, you won't believe this, guys, but I think I found the most broken thing ever. Look at the Plasma Burst. It is the fifth tier Druid. That is absolutely insane. Not only does it shoot out the Tornadoes, the fifth tier Tornadoes, I believe they are, it's also got the Bull Lightning for some reason. So yeah, this, this is all the balloon popping power we need. For some reason, there are all those planes in the background. I don't know what to do about them. Hopefully, hopefully they go away. It's kind of weird to have them circling. But yeah, we are making so much money. Look at this, 140K, 140K, 100K. 168. We are making an insane amount of money from these, and we have such a good defense already. We're two rounds away from the second tier of the balloon areas, and as you can see, these mobs are getting absolutely destroyed basically instantly, but I still think we need more mob popping power, because of course, this glue gun, I can't actually target the mob itself. So even though it has the mad missile, which is meant for mobs, it can't damage it. Wait, is that the mob assassin? Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> yes. Let's set that to strong. Oh my god, that's actually amazing. I don't know how much damage the mob assassin does, but I mean, it's a mob assassin, right? That should do insane damage, and besides, the balloon areas is ridiculously so so we will have a lot of time to get more towers up if we need to but yeah this plasma thing at the back is amazing for the balloons that will blow back everything and then we got the mad missile the mob assassin missile we've also got the fireball okay here is the second tier of the balloon areas as you can see it has seventy-five thousand health that is considerably more than the first tier. i mean you would expect it to have more we're doing pretty good so far it's going down fairly slowly but once that mad starts hitting actually maybe we should set this to last I think we should set that to last so it tries to target the last balloon and as you can see yeah the pop count is going up by the thousands that is ridiculous I do think we still need a little bit more popping power so what happens let's let's go for a fifth tier ninja let's just go straight for a fifth tier ninja okay so let's get the ninja discipline let's see I don't think that's anything good let's get that let's get oh that's more I think that's mines look at that it's shooting up mines let's go for the double shot let's go for the balloon jitsu and as you can see what I don't even know what the balloon jitsu is doing dude but that is so many balloons on the screen at once but we're gonna be absolutely fine because of course we have this amazing super monkey at the back just dealing with everything let's go for the grandmaster ninja guys oh my god is that the cluster bombs that is awesome let's go for yeah let's go for the seeking shuriken let's go for the cow chops let's see what this does i mean it's doing so much damage look at the health of the oh my god that's so laggy that is ridiculously laggy uh-oh i think we need to get rid of this guys just for a second just for a second because it is doing way too much work right there okay let's just get it back there let's get it back there i think that no that was too much lag but look at that we popped the tier two we did not crash my laptop well tier three of the boss balloon is appearing in just two rounds on round 80 so i think we need to get another tower and this is the tower we're gonna get because of course if we get all of the fast firing upgrades i mean it's an insanely fast firing. as you can see look at this it's shooting explosives look at the pop count it's going up really really quickly this is a, such a good tower for this challenge especially because it has the infinite map range let's go for the elite defender of course this is ridiculously fast and oh my god wait is that the primary expertise oh my god wait this is just going to demolish everything this is okay we need to put this in range of the village i don't think anything is going to get past this like this is absolutely broken wait let's go for the elite defender again like with the boost as well I don't think anything. I mean, let's see the boss balloon. Uh, so we're going to sell this. And then as soon as the boss balloon appears, we're going to get another one. And we're going to see how easily it destroys this. Remember, this is tier three balloon areas. This is the boss balloon. It's not even that. It's like, it's hard. It's going to probably have like, I'm guessing it has 75k last time. I'm guessing 250k health. Also, it kind of lags right there. Let's see how much health this thing has. 350k and as you can see we're still damaging it really well this is doing 100 every single time i believe we're doing really really good damage however if we go for the sniper let's just see how good this thing really is okay so all the way to elite defender and look at this go oh my it's going down so quickly <laughs> going look at that look at the pop count that is unbelievable this thing is getting so many pops and not only that it is absolutely cleaning out these balloons as well and remember this balloon eris is incredibly slow so even though it has 350,000 health it is barely getting oh my god we are absolutely destroying this boss balloon guys leave a like on this video if you do want to see more of this maybe hypersonic towers versus the boss balloon i would love to do that let's try and hit 2,000 likes this video and of course leave a comment on which tower you like most but yeah 
Okay, well, we've popped the tier three. As you can see, we get some nice rewards, but let's go straight on to the tier four. It's going to be an 18 miles, so around 100. Seven rounds to go until the boss balloon. And as you can see, DDTs are kind of scary, but not when you have this ninja. Look at this ninja shooting out the Sun God projectiles. I don't know if it's the fifth tier or the fourth tier. I'm pretty sure it's the fourth tier or like a really weak fifth tier. But this thing is doing absolute work. Look at that pop count. 120, nearly 30,000 already. I swear the ninja is absolutely broken today with these random projectiles. Actually, let's just get another one. Let's get another one because this thing is insane. Look at this, the third tier already. It shoots out the juggernaut balls. Like, that is ridiculous. Okay, this doesn't see... Actually, no, this is doing decent damage. I have no idea what it's actually doing, uh, but it's still doing good damage. This is doing good damage as well. Seriously, the ninja just seems to be so... Oh, wait. No way. That is making me absolutely insane amounts of money. 1,200 times multiple shots. Look at that. It's already made me 150,000 from this one ninja in less than like 20 seconds. Okay, this is absolutely insane. I mean, we have all the money in the world, but we still need to find the really OP towers. Because I bet you there are some more OP towers that I haven't found yet that I really should find. We've only got five rounds to go until the tier four Blunarius. Now, I could just go straight for the sniper again, but I do want to find something else, of course, that's really good. Because we need to go through all of the towers, right? So, let's go for the faster darts on this thing. I feel like the heli pilot should be a really good one for this. Let's just see what it does. Oh, wait, is that Paragon Sentries? Is that actually... Wait, what is happening right there? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Wait, we're going to have insane amounts of sentries. Okay, I have to... I think the Paragon sentries are shooting out sentries. That is a disaster. Okay, we, we need to exit that. Go back in. There we go. Let's continue because that would be absolutely awful. Okay, we need to sell this immediately. Basically, the sentries were shooting out more sentries. That would surely crash my laptop. So, <laughs> I need to get rid of that ASAP. That would have been so funny. Well, this turbocharge is doing surprising amounts of damage. Look at this, 12,500 pops already. It is getting like 1,000 pops every two seconds. That is awesome. Okay, so let's go for the permacharge. I mean, that's that's even better, actually. I don't know what's that shoot. Is that like uh, Quincy's projectile, maybe? I, I think it is Quincy. I'm not 100% sure, but it's definitely doing what? Look how quickly that is going up. I mean, obviously, it's a very, very fast firing tower, so it should be good. Let's go for the long range on this thing. Road spikes. Okay, I'm keeping this just because it's hilarious. This <laughs> is absolutely hilarious. I mean, how much damage? Wait, this is doing insane amounts of damage. I had no idea. It is shooting out so many road spikes that it's actually doing thousands of damage every single second. That's unbelievable. I can't believe that. Well, we just found a really, really good tower. It is the Super Monkey shooting the true Sun God projectile as the tier 4 blue. Oh my god, 750 thousand hp that is absolutely insane i mean i don't know if this super monkey is going to be strong enough i mean oh no guys i think we may need to get the sniper again i i, I think we may need to get the op sniper because this has an absolutely absurd amount of health i mean let's just let it go for now i mean this ninja as you can see is doing absolutely stacks of damage as well for some reason the road spikes are absolutely insane but yeah as you can see this is not losing health easily at all so we're gonna go for it we're going to go for the Elite Defender Sniper with that Primary Expertise Projectile because this thing is just absolutely monstrous. It does so much damage. We will find something else for the Tier 5, but uh, it's going to be hard to be the Tier 5. If the Tier 4, only the Tier 4 has 750,000 health. And it, I believe it's shooting out ZOMGs or something as well, every skull, which is absolutely insane. Well, we're going to have to find something even better, guys, because as you can see, it is getting pretty far through the map with 750,000 health which is not good for us but we are going to be able to take it out as you can see i mean we, actually no wait we can't go for another sniper because this is a fifth tier yeah that kind of sucks we're definitely gonna have to find even more firepower look how many zomgs that is that is an insane amount of balloons as well but we are going to be able to take down the tier four the tier five however i think it's going to be tough we're going to have to keep on testing towers and we're going to have to try and find something 14 rounds oh my we do not have that long well, we found our new strategy, and that is we're going to spam an absolute ton of these 0, zero, zero glue gunners. Because remember, they have the mad projectile. Now, I they, obviously, they can't target the Moabs themselves. Uh, but when, when it goes down to balloons and stuff, and they all shoot, I'm sure that a bunch of them are going to connect. And that's basically like having multiple Mads on the screen at one time. So I think with that, we should be able to beat it. We just leveled up to level 104, which is pretty nice. But as you can see... 
The boss is appearing in three rounds. This is going to be the max tier balloon area. So, of course, it isn't. I think there's like an expert mode as well. I may do hypersonic towns with that because, of course, I'm a noob. And I think that'd be pretty fun. But two rounds, one round. Okay, so we've got Babylon right here. And, of course, the Babylon is going to get absolutely annihilated by our defense. As you can see, actually, multiple Babylons right there. I, I don't know if this glue gunner strategy is going to work, honestly. But I believe, well, actually, no, the balloon area isn't going to shoot out. Oh no, the Blunarius is not going to shoot out balloons. It's going to shoot out probably bad balloons or something like that. So this strategy may not work. I'm just praying that we can do enough uh, damage with this sniper that it, it's enough. I, I don't know if it's going to be enough, guys. I really don't. I mean, maybe we should get some ninjas as well. Actually, I think ninjas would be a really good bet because I believe don't they shoot out the mob assassin or whatever thing? Yeah, I think we're going to get multiple 000 ninjas as well. This is how you beat the Blunarius, guys. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. As you can see, we are doing a lot of damage with these glue guns. Wait, look at this glue gunner. 38,000, or is that 390,000 pops? That is ridiculous. But yeah, as you can see, 3 million health on this Blunarius balloon. That, that is absurd. That's so much health. And it is getting pretty far. But this defense is too good, guys. This is 0, 0, 0 towers. That is how you're meant to beat the Blunarius, guys. It's still going down pretty slowly, though. It is. But I think we will just about be able to beat it I, I think you're meant to beat it with like the new paragon towers or maybe stuff like that but oh my god okay there is the bad balloon inside it but it is shooting out the regular balloons as well and as you can see i'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to take this out i mean it's really it's getting damaged pretty fast it's down to okay two less than two thirds right now it's really progressing fast as you can see all of these mad missiles flying around, they're sure to hit it, as you can see. If I just click on a random blue gunner, 67,000. If this one, 100,000 pops. Like, these are just random 000, 000 glue gunners. They're doing so much work in this balloon area. It is over halfway. Actually, no, it's probably about the halfway point about, like, now. Uh, but it's got more than half of its health gone. And I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to take this out with completely random projectiles, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and of course like the video let's try and get 2,000 likes this video and yeah tier 5 is about to go down I mean it did get pretty far considering we have absolutely OP towers like this which has oh is that 9 million pops that's absolutely insane it might even get up to 10 million pops on that one tab but there we go barely alive and we have destroyed the Blunarius balloon. There we go. And we got a... Okay, we got an achievement. Wait, the ZOMG Inator. That's probably nothing to do with that. But there we go. Every single award right here. Let's go home. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Uh, and yeah, hope you have a lovely day.